70 years ago, Australian troops added to the already stellar reputation of the digger with their defence of a small but vital Mediterranean port. Their deeds have become legendary and their nickname part of our language. They were the Rats of Tobruk and they are being commemorated in a new exhibition at the Australian War Memorial. Ultimately, the war in North Africa was about the Suez Canal. The British forces wanted to protect it and Egypt because that maintained links with Britain and also Australasia and the Pacific. Tobruk was important because it was the best deepwater harbour in North Africa between Egypt and Libya. So Tobruk is a really big story. Because the Tobruk garrison was forced to dig in under constant bombardment, the Nazi propagandist Lord Hawhaw declared that they were caught like rats in a trap. The men, hearing this on the radio, adopted the name as a defiant badge of pride and became the Rats of Tobruk. Major General Leslie Morshead was their very aggressive commander. A Gallipoli veteran, his troops dubbed him Ming the Merciless. It was a spirit that he passed on to his men, who, rather than being passive and waiting for the Germans and Italians to come to them, went out into no man's land each night to patrol and to harass the enemy. Morshead's intention was to keep the enemy away from the outer perimeter. He summed up his policy of active defence quite simply. Tobruk's not here to take it, he said. We're here to give it. That defiance, along with qualities like mateship and humour, were in the tradition of the stories with which the rats had grown up, of what their fathers, uncles, and older brothers had achieved in the First World War. They were very much the sons of the original Anzacs, and at Tobruk, they achieved their own legendary status. When people come and see the exhibition, they'll really see the personal stories behind the Rats of Tobruk. Some of the tools of war, such as the weapons which the men carried into battle, but they'll also see a lot of those strong, quite personal effects. The Siege of Tobruk offers examples of humour, mateship and endurance. It also has its stories of great heroism. Jack Emerson was the first Australian of the Second World War to be awarded a Victoria Cross. Jack was involved in a very bitter, bloody hand-to-hand -hand action on the night of the 13th of April, um, where he saved the life of his commanding officer, uh, but he was mortally wounded in action. After Jack's death, his mother created this scrapbook of objects, newspaper articles, and it's that mother's love which is really encaptured in this exhibition. There's the service medals of John Johnson and the little supporting battalion association badge from his wife, Josephine Johnson. He was a carpenter from rural Victoria. He was a father of eight children when he went off to war. Each day, the kids would write to John about the simple things, school, the chickens not laying eggs. Tragically though, Josephine gets a telegram saying John's been killed, but his letters continue to arrive home for some weeks after the event. The exhibition at the Australian War Memorial is about men from all over Australia, from all sorts of backgrounds, who put in the most taxing of circumstances, achieved fame and earned an enduring nickname, the Rats of Tobruk. <laughs>